James Charles here and welcome back to my house. Oh my god. Come in, come in, come in. Okay. You guys, for today's brand new video, we're going to be doing a sister sanctuary tour. But you guys know about two years ago now, I officially moved to Los Angeles to pursue makeup as a career, and thank God it has really, really taken off. And when I moved here, I moved to downtown LA because a lot of the work that I was doing was in Hollywood, but my really close family friends were all in Orange County and Whittier, so it was kind of right smack dab in the middle. Now, downtown was really, really good and fun and fresh for about, mm, five days, and then after that, it made me want to die every single day. Um, you guys have seen the constant mental breakdowns over the sirens, over the loud noises, over the scary people going out late at night, and also the internet issues have really affected my YouTube channel growth this past year. It's been an issue, to say the least, but regardless, that issue is now over because I've been saving all the money and all my sister sponsorships, and I have the house! Oh my god. We are obviously in the moving process right now. I just kissed my downtown apartment. Goodbye, sister, sayonara. Never going there ever again. But it was empty and there were so many amazing memories to be had there. But now we are here. We are clearly in the middle of the moving process. The house is very much empty right now and the movers are outside getting ready to move everything in. But I thought before we do that and start really getting it set up, I would just do a little bit of an empty house tour for you guys. And I definitely did plan on doing a finished house tour and kind of a little bit of a decorating series as well because you guys know I really, really love interior design. So I thought it would be actually really cool to do an empty house tour and a finished house tour. So you guys can really see the before, the planning process, and the after, a little HGTV moment. They are shaking, so I guess I'll show you guys around. So when you first walk in, it is beautiful and bright and black and white, which are obviously my two favorite colors in the entire world. I just love how like neutral and open it all feels. Definitely really, really great for decorating. One of the biggest issues in my downtown apartment was the brick, although I loved the rustic brick and my decorating so hard and I always had to make them black and white in my Instagram selfies. First of problems, to say the least. So right here over to the left, just a big open kind of like living room area. There were couches in the seating area here before and there's this beautiful fireplace. I think this should just be like a little chill area. I definitely want to put a couch in this general vicinity somewhere. And there's going to be a grand piano right there in this corner. Oh my god, you guys know obviously music plays a huge role in my life. And I do play the keyboard by ear, but I've been wanting a grand piano since I was a little boy. We could never afford it as a family growing up, and I remember saving up for a little keyboard from Amazon for months as a child. So buying myself a grand piano has been a huge goal of mine. I know that makes it a little bit weird, but it's going to be right here. As soon as I get that, I'll be like, na, 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 na. And then I can play it over the speakers in the ceiling that are all hardwired so I can listen to my bops anywhere in the house all day long. Really good and fun and fresh. Next to this little living room, we have this dining room area, and I think it's so cool because there is a brick wall in here, but it's white brick, which is exactly what I wanted to do in the original house to begin with. I think it's just gonna be really cool to kind of bring a little nostalgic element from the downtown apartment back here to this new house, and I think it's just gonna be really, really beautiful. I definitely wanna get a huge table for right here underneath the chandelier, although I don't really like the chandelier, I'm probably gonna have to go. Swing from it like a real like Sia, um, and probably take it down because it's a little bit ugly, but. There's gonna be a dining table right here. I honestly don't really anticipate using this room very often. It's probably gonna be one of those rooms that are very much for show. All my eating will probably be happening in my bed or on the couch in the living room, which you guys will see in a second, or at the kitchen counter because it's huge. Moving on to right over here in this like big open foyer area. This door leads to the garage, so I'm not going to show you right now because all my friends and family are in there helping me unpack everything right now. I'm going to be helping them in the future, I'm going to do not worry. But there's going to be a car parked there eventually. You guys know obviously I Uber everywhere and I think it's time for me to get a car now that I have a house. I get asked this a lot, but I actually do have my license. I can drive. I'm just really not good at it. So if you find out about a 19 year old makeup artist crashing his Jeep wagon sometime soon in the news, you'll know exactly who it is. <laughs> so walking over here into this first room, this is bedroom number one. Really good echo in here, perfect for singing. This is probably actually gonna be my office for myself and my team members to work out of. Although I did start off my YouTube channel being just myself, I do now have an amazing group of people that work with me every single day to make this full of video process possible, and I wanna make sure they have a really, really comfortable and beautiful and bright place to work. That's probably gonna be happening right in here. So coming out of the office, we have this beautiful, huge staircase, which obviously leads to the second floor. I'm gonna take you guys upstairs in a few short minutes, but I just wanna finish the first floor first, duh. So we're gonna be here, we just have a little storage closet. 
And here is just a cute little hug room for any guests that are over. I love the little um, sink things too. Like this is so cool. Looks like a fire hose. Love that. So modern, so vintage. And then in here, this is technically supposed to be the office space, it's just literally a white box, but in my opinion, this is way too small. If I were to be working here, I'd probably get really stressed and like cramped and claustrophobic, and that is not good. I don't really know what's gonna be in here. Um, I also thought of the potential of like a recording studio. If I start taking music more seriously, that could be really fun, but I don't know. For right now, it's really good acoustics. So coming out of the sister studio slash potential exercise room slash white box that I can lock Ian in if he's being annoying, Oh, that got deep fast. Um, whatever that room may be. Back to the foyer. This is probably my favorite wall of the entire house. This is obviously a wine cellar. And you're probably thinking, wow, James, why is your wine cellar your favorite wall of the entire house? Let me tell you why it's my favorite wall of the entire house. Because guess what's not going to be there? Wine. Guess what's going to be there instead? Coca-Cola. Because I am an addict. And I'm not proud to admit that, but I am proud that it's going to be on my wall because it'll probably be really cute and fun and fresh for an Instagram picture. And I also will probably drink all of them within the course of a week or maybe two if we're really lucky. So, so walking at it this way from the foyer, I don't know if everything is so open concept. Obviously, I need my house to be very, very lively and beautiful and not cramped. The opposite of Lost Apartment, we have the kitchen and living room, and oh my god, this area just makes me feel so happy, so inspired. I don't even know why, because literally, I don't cook, okay? The second I turn on that stove in this house, it's gonna burn down, so guess who's not gonna be turning on that stove? Me. <laughs> but it still looks really, really beautiful. I really, really love the white countertops and the black cabinets. It's very just minimalistic and plain, which may sound crazy to you guys, but that's very much my interior design style. We have these two pendant lights floating over top, which are actually probably the only two lights that I'm gonna be keeping in this house. I really, really love these. I think they are so beautiful. And kind of add to more of like the rustic farmhouse vibe, which is definitely what I want to go for. Gonna have a coffee machine probably in that corner over there. We have a microwave for all my ramen when I'm getting too lazy to cook more postmates. And a huge, beautiful refrigerator, which I will probably keep very little in. It's there to look beautiful and to maybe serve a few purposes, but not a whole lot, let's be real. <laughs> Next in the kitchen, there's this little breakfast stuff, but once again, this huge pendant over top. This is definitely what I will tell you that right now. But I want to put a cute little table here for more casual eating and a few chairs just around. And then over here is the living room. <sighs> I love this space. There's obviously built in cabinets and once again the white brick, which I just think is so beautiful. You guys know the last one they had my projector screen, and that was really, really great for watching movies at night. But one of the main issues with it is the projector is obviously based on light, meaning I can never watch anything during the day, which is usually pretty good for me. I was able to really keep some self-control and to get my work done. But there were definitely some lazy days where I wanted to be able to watch Netflix, so I'm gonna be putting a huge TV right smack right in the middle right here. These these shelves to put some decor pieces, and there's definitely going to be a huge, huge, huge L-shaped sectional right here so myself, my family, and all my best friends can sit and relax and chill. So you're probably noticing, oh my god, this house is so bright and beautiful. And just like my last apartment, there are windows all over, which I absolutely love. And next to the living room is a huge sliding glass door. Obviously, there's a ton of people outside. These are all my family and my best friends. They've been helping my moving process. But I'll show you guys a little backyard moment. Cassie's dogs are also here too. They will not be staying, unfortunately, but me and Ian definitely do plan on adopting a puppy as soon as we get in and get settled. I am so beyond excited. So as soon as you walk outside, there is a huge TV and fireplace, which I think is actually so, so, so cool. I want to put a cute little seating area here so me and all my friends can chill out during the cool summer nights. Ow. And then we have the beautiful backyard. So the grass area is definitely not as big as I would want it to be. I grew up in upstate New York and I'm used to having a ton of property. I think the house that I grew up in was literally five acres, which is any nature lover's dream, which may come as a little bit of a surprise to you guys because I'm very much an inside home internet kid, but I definitely do love nature and relaxing. So my next house that I move into will have a huge backyard. I'm promising myself that right now, but I think I'm just gonna put a hammock over here, maybe some lawn chairs next to the pool, and probably gotta fix this dead grass patch because it's not looking the best. Here lies the careers of everybody in the makeup industry. Over here we have this little concrete and grill area, similar to the kitchen. I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot of use out of this, but I do have a lot of best friends and a lot of their husbands love to cook and grill. My best friend, Laura, her husband, Victor, loves grilling, so we'll definitely be cooking lots of good and fresh, big, beefy meat right here. 
We do have a huge, beautiful swimming pool, which I am so beyond excited about. There is a waterfall that comes out of this little thing, but I'll show you in like the final little house reveal type of video. I am so excited to have a swimming pool to be able to jump in on really, really hot days. It gets so hot outside. I'm literally sweating from being outdoors for literally like 30 seconds that it's taken us to film this clip now, so that's good. And we do have a cute little hot tub as well, so we can chillax in on the colder nights during the winter. So that is pretty much the outside and the bottom level all done, so I'm going to take you guys upstairs and show you the rest of the house where all the magic is going to be made. <laughs> So we have this big, beautiful staircase leading us up to the second level and a huge industrial chandelier over the top. I actually really like this light. I think this is going to be another one that I'm going to keep in. I definitely want to put some cute prints on the walls leading up the stairs. So this house is actually five bedrooms, which is so lit. My last apartment was technically three, but one of those bedrooms was my walk-in closet and the other one was my filming space and the loft was mine. So even though I had three bedrooms, there was only really one that was being used and Ian always had a seat on the couch when he was over and so did all my friends when they had sleepovers, which was really, really not fun. So I'm really excited to have a lot of space for everyone to sleep and hang out. I always have friends over no matter what day it is. I'm very, very close to a lot of the people in my life and I like to just make them feel at home and make them feel comfortable. So this house is gonna be perfect for that. Walking over here, we probably have my favorite room of literally the entire house, which is going to sound crazy to you, but it is a laundry room. And do you know why I'm excited about this? Because I have a washer and dryer and I'm going to be able to do my own laundry. Why are you excited about that, James, you're asking? Let me tell you. If you guys have seen a few episodes of Brother and Sister, me and Ian are talking about how the laundry room in my old apartment building was scary. It was in the basement, it was dark, all the machines were broken almost every single time. I literally left loads of laundry in there and came down like five minutes before my laundry machine was going to be done. And I literally had people taking my clothes out of the machine because they wanted to put theirs in instead. Like that is, it's scary. So I've been working with the laundry service recently to actually make sure my clothes were clean and not froze, but I am so glad to be able to actually get my laundry done myself, to make sure it's done right and to do it safely. Sounds so stupid, but I'm just really excited about it. <laughs> So walking over this way, we have this big storage unit on this wall. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to put here yet. You guys obviously know I get a whole lot of makeup every single day. And the beauty room, which I'm going to show you in a few short seconds, is not the actual biggest room of the house. It's really going to be focused on production rather than makeup storage. Because you guys know I don't really switch up my products that often. So I might actually use this entire storage unit to store excess makeup. And then walking in from here, we have a bedroom number two. And I think this room is actually going to be Ian's room. It is in the corner of the house and it's really beautiful and bright. I think he'll really, really like this space. And there's also a pretty big walk-in closet in here for Sister Ian as well, which I'm really excited for him for. Obviously, Ian really, really loves fashion a lot. I know he wants to be a menswear vlogger or do fashion videos on YouTube one day. If he ever actually decides to post, couldn't tell you. I'm gonna be on him when he comes here, I promise you that. But he'll be able to use this walk-in closet to store all of his pieces in here so they look beautiful for his videos. I'll obviously let Ian show you guys his bedroom once the final house room video is done, but let's go ahead and move on to the next room. So walking right out over here, we have a bedroom number three. And this one's probably going to be, once again, either Ian's room if he wants this one instead, or a guest room. This is just a super plain and simple and cute room. There's a walk-in closet over here that I'm going to keep their clothes. And there's also just an ensuite bathroom. So as of right now, it's probably only going to be me and Sister Ian living in this house together, but we are going to get a dog, and you guys heard me say that my team was here almost every single day working, which is really, really fun. I do eventually want to have a third roommate. I've been trying to convince my best friend Drew to move in with us. No luck so far, so you guys should all go leave comments on his Instagram telling him to move in with me. <laughs> but if he wants to move in one day, either this room or the other room would be Drew's room, but if not, this will just be a perfectly fine guest room for when my family or my best friends come to sleep over. So moving right along over this corner, we have bedroom number four, and this it's probably my favorite bedroom that is not the master of the entire house because this is going to be the beauty studio. I really, really just love this room because it is so bright and it is so big. The ceilings are actually vaulted as opposed to flat, which really just makes the space feel like a million times larger and it just feels very, very open and it just gives me like good vibes for production. You guys know that I definitely work really hard on my videos and it can be really easy to get into a bit of a creative rut. So for me, being in a space that makes me feel happy and alive and awake is super, super important. I do want to use that storage space outside because the closet in the maker room isn't actually the biggest, which may be an issue later on, but like I was saying, I do always make sure to go through my collection and just donate everything that I don't want. I was actually able to make a huge donation of unopened and brand new makeup products that I bought from PR or have just never actually used to a local woman's shelter, which meant so, so, so much to me. They were all so grateful and so thankful and 
it just means a lot to me because obviously you guys only get makeup sent to me all the time and although I am so thankful for it, there is just no way that I'd ever be able to try out that much makeup. So it just warms my heart to be able to give that stuff away to people who are definitely going to get an amazing use out of it and be so, so, so appreciative of it. So that is pretty much actually the entire beauty space. Obviously there's going to be all the equipment and production stuff in here very, very soon, which I am so beyond excited for. I'm actually working with a really amazing producer to set everything back up. And I was also going to ask you guys too, definitely leave me a comment down below if you're interested in learning about like the production of beauty videos and what goes into the full uh, setup. If you want to know about cameras, equipment, lenses, lighting, like for me personally, I find that stuff very, very, very interesting, but I'm also a YouTuber who's always trying to make my content look a lot better. So let me know any of you guys out there are aspiring content creators or aspiring influencers and you want to know about like beauty and lighting because I feel like I can make a really cool video about the documentation of creating a film studio and organizing the beauty room. So definitely leave a comment down below if you want to see that. So those are all the questions, all complete, but we do have one more sister space. Obviously you guys know I have to see the best for last. And if we walk right back across this little balcony up here, we have the iconic double doors to the sister sanctuary where all the magic is going to happen. I can't even make that joke. There's not going to be much happening in here at all, let's be real. But <laughs> if we open up these doors, we have the master bedroom. I am so excited about this space. Oh my god, it is literally so big. Like, so good. So as soon as you walk in, there are two huge walk-in closets, and I think this is technically like his closet, and this is the hers closet, but since it's just me, it's just going to be the sister and sister's closet, which I obviously love. Just like my makeup, I actually went through and I donated probably like 50% of the items that I never wear anymore, so I'm really looking forward to reorganizing the entire closet space. This is the master bedroom, and it is so incredibly beautiful. I am so excited to be just existing in here and to be sleeping in here, like I can just tell I'm going to be able to get a beautiful, Calm, peaceful, with no sirens, night's rest. Once again, like the baby room, the ceilings are vaulted, which just makes this space feel so incredibly large. It just feels very, very open, very, very alive, and it is so bright as well, if you will notice. Overall, this one, I definitely plan on keeping my bed. I just ordered a huge four poster cube bed online, and I'm so excited for it to get here. I pretty much have my entire master bedroom planned completely out. That's the only room that I like have inspiration for those pulled from. Like downstairs, we actually have another fireplace in the master bedroom, which I am so beyond excited for. And once again, tying it to the brick wall. This just makes me feel so nostalgic, like I'm right at home. I'm so excited to be able to lay in bed and to watch TV right around here and to have the fire lit and just to feel so incredibly cozy during the winter time for just more chill nights. Hopefully with a boyfriend one day, but that doesn't sound too promising, so. Next, we have probably my favorite space in the entire house. The master bathroom. Brace yourself, okay, ready? So good. <sighs> like, literally, this room is just so good, I don't even have words for it. Oh my god, this bathroom is so beautiful. <sighs> Hello, okay, first of all, you'll notice as soon as you walk in, there's a countertop. And there's not just any countertop, there's a large countertop. And if you watched my last episode of Brother and Sister with me, and you would know that I have a major issue with smaller countertops. We have the most big sister shower I've ever seen in my entire life. So now I can give really good and beautiful concerts in this amazing white marble shower. Like, hello, how gorgeous is this? And we have a huge, beautiful white sofa tub here as well. I actually have not taken a bath in probably like four or five years now. I shower every day. I swear. I'm really looking forward to sitting here, popping in a bath bomb or two, and just relaxing, watching the sunset, and just listening to music and the speaker systems, and just living my best fantasy. With all that being said, that completes the master suite, and I think that actually completes this empty house tour. Oh my god, you guys, that actually did not take too long at all. I have a lot of people here to help me start this moving process, so I'm going to end off this video pretty quickly. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I'm a 19-year-old kid that now owns a house in Los Angeles, California, and three years ago, I never in a million years would have imagined that this is my life, but... It is now, and it's all because of you guys, and I will never ever stop being so grateful for that. You guys have truly changed your life for the better, and I'm so excited for this new journey that this house is going to bring. All right, you guys, there's a huge truck outside with a whole lot of furniture, a whole lot of makeup, and a whole lot of my favorite people that made the absolute world to me, so I gotta get started on this moving process, but thank you for watching. I love you, and welcome home.